Hey there, uh, welcome to Hiker Homily number 51. And I know I'm not counting like the weeks anymore and giving actual dates because I'm kind of posting these now across different platforms on different different times and things like that. Um, but this is the first uh, Hiker Homily of 2019. So we'll give you that kind of time stamp right there. So welcome to 2019 and Hiker Homily number 51. And uh, this time I'm going to be talking about the 10 essentials um, but before I jump into specifics uh, the 10 essentials that I'm going to be covering today are specifically 10 essentials for me I'm not telling you you have to so to kind of take it as a suggestion everybody kind of has their own things that they absolutely want to have so I'll go over my 10 essentials that I use specifically for day hiking not for backpacking that's a whole different essential list and I'll do that one maybe next week or in the in the future uh, but now the 10 essentials for day hiking and I'll kind of for most of them some of them are self-explanatory but I'll go over um, why these are my 10 essentials something that I carry every time I go on a day hike and by day hike I am talking about I am hitting an actual trail somewhere whether it's in a state park or a local park or a uh, trail out on somewhere if I'm going to be going on any kind of a day hike on a trail um, I make sure that these 10 essentials are with me either in my backpack or I have them in some capacity um, so here we go uh, first thing is a knife or, or some kind of multi-tool like that uh, again a knife uh, when you're hiking or camping is a tool it can be a self-defense tool. Um, it can help you with food. There's all kinds of things that, that a knife can come in handy for. Uh, so it, there's, I'm always carrying one when I am out on the trails and things like that. A first aid kit. Uh, now there are different levels of first aid kits. I did a whole hiker homily a while ago on first aid kits. And like I said, uh, the one that I carry for backpacking is, and for probably day hiking, is a small one that's going to have just the basics in it that I may need for basic injuries and things like that. If I want to go camping with the family at an actual campground, car camping and things like that, I'm going to carry a much bigger uh, first aid kit and things like that. But for hiking, it's going to be smaller. Um, adequate water and water storage uh, for the hike so if I'm doing a real quick I know it's only supposed to be three or four miles I'll probably carry about a liter a liter and a half I always carry a little bit more than I might need or that is you know requested or or, or suggested for a workout and things like that so but you, you know, you gotta have it and you gotta uh, always have that mind frame in you that, hey, just in case uh, something goes wrong or something takes longer than you thought it was gonna take or something like that happens, uh, then, uh, then you wanna have that little extra just in case. Um, the other thing, uh, number four, is food of some type. Again, even if it's a very short um, day hike, like a lot of the ones I take, I'll, I'll start early in the morning and I'll be done by noon. So I really don't need food. I'm not, I'm doing five miles or something like that. Um, it is good to have a quick snack in case I feel like I need it and things like that. Or again, if something happens and things take longer than you expect, or, you know, again, we're talking about trail hiking out there. You take a wrong turn, you're not sure where you're at and stuff like that. It's going to take you time to sort it out. You have that extra envelope of safety there with extra food extra water just in case <clears throat> if you're going to be hiking literally the entire day you should have at least a full meal with you you should have something for lunch um, and things like that all right next one map and compass even if you're using a gps on your smartphone or you have an electronic thing like that you should always always in the area you're in carry a map for that area a hard copy paper map just in case I mean anything can happen to electronics unexpected battery um, maybe you're hiking in, in low temperature your battery can't handle that and it dies faster than you thought it was going to uh, you drop your phone in a river or it gets broken there's all kinds of things that could happen your electronic device is down 
and if that was your only map, that's not a good situation to be in. So have a paper map and a compass to help you figure out where you're at just in case and stuff. A lot of these 10 essentials are just in case essentials. They're not things you may actually use on the hike, but they're there in case of something going not normal on the hike, okay? Uh, fire starter kit, that's another one of those perfectly good. On 90% of the day hikes I go on, I am not going to start a fire. But if I am stuck, like uh, last year I did a hike on the Feather River Trail, um, and fortunately we were prepared just in case, but we didn't expect snow, but there was snow on that trail. On, on about half that trail was covered in a good four or five inches of snow. Now, if something had gone wrong, I got separated from my group, got turned around and lost or whatever, and was trying to figure out what was going on. If I had an immediate emergency situation, I needed to get warm, I would have a fire starter kit with me just in case so I could do that, okay? So again, uh, uh, another example of you're probably not going to use it, but it's there in case for safety. Uh, some kind of a light. If you're hiking in the middle of the daytime, what are you gonna need a flashlight for? Again, be prepared. That's why these 10 essentials are there is, is kind of a, they're a safety net, basically. Um, it did come in handy for me when I was hiking at Black, uh, Black Diamond Regional Park. I knew I was heading for uh, the Prospect Tunnel. If you've watched that video on my, on my channel, hiking to the Prospect Tunnel, um, I knew I was heading there, but you know, my headlamp was in my pack anyway. It's always in my day pack, uh, unless I've moved it to my backpack because I always carry one with me just in case. If my hike goes longer than I expect it to, or I either take a wrong turn or I decide, wow, I'm doing this trail, but this one looks really cool. I'm gonna take it. And I get out there and okay, by the time I get back, it's starting to get dark. I have a light as backup just in case I need it. Uh, a whistle. <clears throat> uh, a whistle projects itself a lot louder than most people can even yell and things like that. And so in the event that you do get lost, your map and compass failed you somehow, and you just you don't know where you're at, you are completely lost, and the search and rescue teams are looking for you, blowing a whistle is the best way to get their attention. And, and there are cert certain situations where if you're exhausted and stuff, you're not gonna be able to shout, your, your voice may not be working, blowing a whistle. So a whistle is a safety thing. Also, whistles can be used because they're a very shrill sound. Bears don't like them. Cougars don't like them. Most animals do not like the sound of a whistle just blasted like that. It bothers their ears. So it's another situation there where it can help you out. Uh, rain gear, again, even if the forecast says it's going to be a beautiful day, there's not a cloud in the sky, you should have a light rain jacket at least in your backpack. Again, remember, I'm talking about trails and stuff. I'm not talking about walking out on levee roads on a summer day and things. I'm talking about in the trails. Because, again, just in case. The 10 essentials really should be a just-in-case list because there's only a few on there that I will use a lot. Uh, obviously, I'm going to use water on a hike, even if it's a short one. I'm going to drink some water. Um, my knife tool I may use for something simple and things like that but a lot of these things are it's a list of things you carry just in case okay um, there's a lot of people out there i can see them already shaking their heads like nah i've never had to use that stuff blah blah okay well I, i've never had to use the fire extinguisher in my house i've owned this house for almost 30 years had a fire extinguisher in all 30 of it i have never had to use well i've used it once i, I take that back one time um, but in 30 years one time i use it there's still a fire extinguisher in my house okay uh, so it is. It, it's a precautionary thing. All right, after rain gear, the last thing, number 10, is an emergency beacon. And that's one that I just kind of swapped out for, for something else. Uh, I have decided that especially if I'm going anywhere near the backcountry or in some kind of trail, you never know when things go wrong. You take a wrong turn. Uh, you trip and get injured. You know exactly where you're at, but you're injured and cannot get out of where you're at. Um, that's when things like a whistle, first aid kit, the extra food and water, anything like that um, can help you. And the emergency beacon, especially like uh, the one that I'm uh, planning on using, the, the Explorer Plus by Garmin, um, <clears throat> it's, it's just really good and can get the help to you right away and gives you that, that ability to communicate when you're out there um, via satellite network. It's not cellular. Uh, so uh, those are my personal 10 essentials. 
There's a lot of people out there who uh, they don't bother with 10 essentials. They maybe carry five or they don't carry any essentials whatsoever. Or maybe they do, but they just don't know it. If there's something you always carry when you're backpacking, then that would be your one of your personal essentials hiking. I just, I got to have this. I always have such and such when I'm hiking. Okay, that's one of your hiking essentials. So everybody has them. But that's mine. Anybody else have some other things that you would either take off the list and then add something else to it or whatever? Let me know. Uh, comments below. Email me at hikingforhealthca at gmail.com. Um, contact me on Instagram or on Facebook. And that's about it for the 10 essentials for day hiking. Uh, next time in number 52, I think I'll go over the 10 essentials for backpacking because they're a little different for me anyway. Um, and we'll see how that goes. But other than that, hey, welcome to 2019. And that's Hiker Homily number 51. And we will talk to you next time. <laughs>